Well, hey there, folks. Welcome back to the White Farm. We are now in January. Moved a little bit of time along. Got a little bit of stuff done, as a matter of fact. And, you know, I, I, I've met all the goals in this series that I wanted to meet. But, there's one thing, maybe a couple things, that I just wanted to try and get to. Wasn't a, a hard, hard goal for me, but it was something that I did want to try to get to. And so we finally got there. Able to do something today that I've been waiting to do for a little while. And we're going to sell some pigs. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, if you're like me, you'll get through a playthrough and... Well, you, you get your animals going and... Once they get up mature, you let them just do their thing. And, well, it's not always the most financially sound decision. So, yeah, today we're going to sell some pigs. I think, I think if we just pull in here, we can get them. Let's try that. I can't remember for sure. Let's just pull through. So yeah, so I have some pigs that have become mature, and I am not going to make that. And so, we're going to get a few of them sold, and make a little money, and we're also going to sell some chickens as well. I have sold some of the chickens, uh, one or two loads during this playthrough, and so we're going to sell some pigs. Make a little money. Uh, actually, actually bring quite a bit of money. Uh, before we load them up, I'll show you what I'm talking about uh, with the pigs. So we, we have now quite a few pigs. And these right here appear to be the oldest ones at 21 months. Now, I don't know in-game if there is a specific price or age that they bring the most money. But we're going to do it at 21 months because they just reproduce for us. They just had some new piglets, these right here. So I thought that was a perfect time. We're gonna go ahead and sell them. That way we're not feeding them anymore. We're gonna get $1,062 per pig. It's pretty good, actually. So let's see, find the right ones. It should be those. We're gonna move all those into the trailer. So, that load of pigs should bring us just over $13,000, which is actually pretty good. Pretty good. So, that's actually uh, pretty good money we can make back from the pigs. Since, up to this point, they have not made us anything other than some manure. And I'm going to see if we can add some chickens to this trailer, too. We're going to go with the oldest chickens. Uh, 23 months, let's select those. And let's see. It does not appear that we can mix the pigs. Oh, you know what? The trailer may be full. I need to make sure and see how many pigs this trailer can actually hold. Uh, 13. That, that explains why we have groups of 13 in the pig barn, because that's all it would hold. Okay. Now, I know what we're doing. Let's go ahead and run these down. See the grass is growing in the field. It's growing back. And we do have some products to sell today. Uh, it's not the best time of the year to sell it. Uh, we could get a little bit more. But we're going to sell it today uh, just to make a little money. Uh, while the, uh, the price is decent. The price is decent. And uh, just to let you know, I did sell quite a bit of silage between episodes and was able to pay off the loan. All right, let's sit. Uh oh. There we go. All right, we're going to sell all 13. So 13,812 bucks. Not too bad. Not too bad. And let me just verify. Real quick, that, yeah, the loan is paid off. So, very good. 
very very good so we have no loan just sold a load of pigs now we'll run back down here and let's get a load of chickens we're going to go ahead and sell some of them I think they'll bring about $25 a piece so decent money once they grow reproduce a few times then they will bring you some uh, decent money if you sell them after they have matured I did go ahead and put some more of the silage into the cow uh, cow barn silo and uh, we made made sure that they stayed full of TMR uh, let's see back up there we go uh oh man that trigger zone is pretty narrow right there all right let's find some chickens I think this thing will hold 60. Yep, 60. And these ones right here are the oldest ones. You see they're at 0% reproduction. Uh, and before we load those up, let's just take a look at the chickens here. So yeah, so all of them are at $25. So it really doesn't matter which group we sell. So I'll just pick the oldest ones. Uh, let's see, that should be those there, 23 months. So let's move those over. Yep, they're all in the trailer. And we'll go run down and get those sold as well. So yeah, this is one of the things. I did want to get the pigs to a point where I could sell them. I, you know, I, I've often thought about doing a, uh, a pig type uh, episode where, or not episode, but series where you just focus on pigs and you know getting them up growing them off to where they bring you some pretty decent money selling the actual pigs I just <laughs> I just had done it uh, yeah having to grow all of the, the grains and foods for the pigs is a bit of a hassle I know you could buy pig food but if you're buying it I don't know that it would be economical at that point uh oh, what did I do? There we go. So yeah, I've not ventured into uh, that idea yet. So fifteen hundred bucks we have made from the chickens. So not a bad start selling a few animals off the farm. Is that definitely going to lighten the uh, food load requirements uh, for each of those? Just a bit. Not a whole lot, but it will. Just a little. Yeah, I was quite surprised at how much the uh, the pigs actually uh, are worth as they get older. And again, I don't know what the max value would end up being if I was to let them reach it. But we, we were kind of at a point where... Oh, 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 let me turn there. I was ready to get some sold, and so I thought that was pretty good price, pretty decent price. So there we have it. All right, we'll get the trailer backed in here, and then we're going to go grab the flatbed, and we're going to sell a few French fries, and I'll show you here before we get down there. We'll look at the menu. And I do have a lot of stuff here. You see, there's a lot of stuff that's green. Uh, you know, I could sell some sorghum, but I'm kind of holding on to it. To make sure I have enough to feed the chickens. May sell some of this. Uh, let's see, we have 36,000. Maybe I'll sell about 15, 15,000 or so. Uh, I think we'll be okay to feed the chickens with the rest. Uh, silage, we probably could feed a or sell a little bit more. But I think I'm going to hold on to it. Hay, hay and straw I'm going to hold on to. Um, yeah, everything else, you know, I could sell it. But it's just piddly money at this point. Uh, trying to collect it all up and get it sold. Uh, but popcorn down here. 83000 
uh, well, let's look. Fifteen seventy is the current going price, and sixteen ninety nine. So it's a little bit under. But if you look at the maximum value, eighty three, almost eighty four thousand. Max is at ninety. So really not that far off from the maximum. So we're going to go ahead and sell it. Not all of it, I don't think, but some of it. And we'll see if we can at least blow through 100,000 here. I think we will be able to pretty easy. So it looks like we do have a couple pallets out here at the factory. I'm just going to cut through the back way here, drive along behind this field. And I'm pretty sure my trailer is still over here. Yes. <laughs> oh boy. That wouldn't have been good if it had been somewhere else. Alright. We're going to go to it there and we'll pull along inside this barn. Now the only problem I don't like where this barn is sitting but it's right by this field. I can't back this thing in so we have to just pull out the field. Alright, let's go grab some popcorn pallets. Uh, let's see, that thing, I don't know how many that trailer will hold. Let's get out 20. Let's see if it'll hold that many. I'm not sure if it will or not. Today, I've never used this trailer before. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't work that great, <laughs> in my opinion. I don't, I don't really care for it all that much. But, hey, you don't know until you know, right? You know, so you got to try some things out. Figure out if you like it or not, but yeah, I, yeah, I just don't care much for this trailer. Oh, we have way more <laughs> the two pallets over here. I did not see the ones that were upside the building. That's actually a good thing because we did not fully load the trailer. So we can go ahead and grab them. Uh, all but one. You know what? Will that go on the back of the truck? I don't know if this will load here. Let's see. Uh, probably not. I don't think so. Okay. Where are we going with these? We're going to the fast food restaurant. Let me just double check. I think that is, yeah, that is up the road a little ways. I have liked this truck though. I hadn't used it a whole lot. This pickup truck that I got, but uh, man, that's actually a pretty nice truck. I like this. I am really excited to plant that field there to the right that I combined. That'll be a nice big field to harvest. So I do want to continue to, uh, to to play this series. Now, as I mentioned before, I believe I'm going to do a kind of like a year later episode to finish off the series. And that will kind of show you guys where I ended up, how I ended up, and some of the things I ended up doing on the playthrough. Uh, you know, I could continue going on making episodes uh, but I am ready to move on, and I think that that would be a good way to continue it. I'll just play it in my free time, <laughs> which I don't have much of. But we'll have a, another another episode come out at some point in the future. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Uh, so I do need some money. I need some money to continue upgrading some of the 
machines and equipment on the farm. You know, the two older tractors we have. Maybe we get rid of those and get something newer in their place. I find myself using them less and less now that I have that newer case, the Puma. So, yeah, maybe we end up getting uh, something newer to replace those two. Maybe a smaller tractor than the Puma to just kind of have for some of the smaller tasks. And then get rid of those two. So, yeah, got, got a lot of stuff. Uh, some of the equipment will probably upgrade along the way and just kind of play it out see how this thing ends up right, we'll go ahead and grab this one last pallet that's over here don't want to leave it over here and let's run back over we'll get one more load of the uh, popcorn I think I think I have enough to fill the trailer back up A little bit bumpy right here beside the shed. All right, let's stop there. And let's see how many pallets. We still have 24. I, you know, let's get them all out. Let's see. Ooh, that one didn't. <laughs> oh, they're in the ground. What happened there? That is weird. All right, let's see if we can get these loaded up. Will they all load up? I don't think so. Oh, they will. How about that? How about that? Got them all. Very good. And a little bit of a squat going on. Looks like on that truck. I tell you, I, I really have enjoyed this map. Uh, you know, it's just, it's been fun. Uh, it's small. Using the smaller equipment, just kind of taking it slow. I've really, really enjoyed this playthrough. Really have. There's really so much more I could do, to be honest with you. There's there's other pieces of land. You know, there's some productions we could throw in. That could put... Oh, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. I apologize for that. I had to clear my throat real quick, muted the mic. <laughs> and then when I went to grab back the control there, I overcorrected. Spun it out. All right, let's see if I can get all of these sold right here. So yeah, we are at $181,000 now for the farm's bank account. That is really good. Really good. We're set set up. Really, really set up. And plus, we have the french fries. A whole lot of french fries. If we look at the menu down here, you see that we have 188,000 liters of french fries. So that's going to bring, potentially, up to about $230,000 for the farm. So... Uh, between the 180 that we have and the 230 that we're going to have, that's going to be quite a bit of money. Quite a bit of money. So, there's a lot of opportunity. Really, money is not a problem anymore, I don't believe, for the farm. No loan, plenty of cash. For the most part, we're set up on equipment. We will make some changes there. But, it's all coming along. And the fruits of my labors <laughs> are now being seen. So, yeah, we're moving along. The farm is in good shape. 
it's been a great series. So, this is not the last episode. There will be one final episode at some point in the future. I'm going to play through probably the next December or January. Kind of do a recap on where it stands. What have we done? And what we have done to get there. Got a lot of work ahead of me. A year's worth of play. Should be fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please be sure and click that thumbs up button. Uh, if you haven't done so already, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe today. And we'll see you back here next time. Thanks so much. And y'all have a wonderful day.